People with ambition who wish to overcome challenges have always taken their societies and the world as a whole down hitherto unexplored paths. The Sri Lankan people from the tiny island known as the Pearl of the Indian Ocean can also identify themselves as a people who have amazed the world because of their unique quality which has been displayed throughout history of never faltering in the face of challenges and their innovative use of technology and knowledge. These people are the proud descendants of a people who wrote their names in the history books in gold, where they made true mankind's lifelong dream of taking to the skies. While Sri Lanka's history dates back thousands of years, during the reign of King Ravana, this society was known to have mastered the art of flight using the technology at the time. In an era when technology has advanced to a level where man has even flown and set foot on the moon, in 1985 the Asian Aviation Centre was establishing new paths in Sri Lankan aviation and providing an avenue for the children of Sri Lanka who have their eyes on the skies above. In 1985, the Asian Aviation Centre Private Limited established a flying school dedicated to bringing forth Sri Lankan professionals in the sectors of aviation technology and flight at a time when the skies were the forte of foreigners. In 1990, AAC began training students for the Maintenance Engineer Licence Examination to enable them to conduct the maintenance of aircraft under the Civil Aviation Authority. The establishment of this institution made the dreams of Sri Lankan children who wanted to take to the skies a reality. While the aviation sector was the boon of a select few during colonial times, the establishment of AAC broke this exclusivity, bringing to all Sri Lankan children the opportunity of receiving an education in aviation and moving on to employment in the sector. The establishment of AAC also revolutionized Sri Lanka's aviation sector, creating employment opportunities in the sector for Sri Lankans regardless of race, religion, caste or creed. which has always obtained modern international technology to advance the education of students, broadened its international partnership in 1996 with the signing of an agreement with the acclaimed Kingston University in the United Kingdom. Kingston University, which has a proud history in aviation education spanning a century, is the largest provider of degree-level education in the aviation sector in the United Kingdom. Today, this institution employs the most advanced aviation technology and the highest standards of professionalism to bring forth the next generation of experts in the civil and defence sectors. The partnership between this university and AAC is truly a prime opportunity for Sri Lankan students to receive a world-class education in aviation. The curriculum at AAC combines research, training and practical knowledge to provide a comprehensive aviation education to all students. The fact that students from over 151 countries receive their education via Kingston University makes it evident that it is the most suitable option for opportunities to secure employment and advancement in a competitive job market. Asian Innovation Centre, located at Kambu Airport, Ratmalana, conducts BSc Aerospace Engineering degree in collaboration with Kingston University London. It is a three-year honours degree program and the first two years is conducted at Asian Innovation Centre Atmalana and for the third year they can proceed to Kingston University in London. BSc Honours in Aerospace Engineering degree is conducted by the Faculty of Science, Engineering and Computing. Kingston University has a long tradition of research and consultancy welcomes uh, students from different uh, ethnicities, different countries, different communities and different ages. Hi, my name is Ahmad Samar Rafiq. I am from Maldives. I am doing BSc Engineering at the Asian Aviation Centre. I found about the course online on their official website. Hi, I am Andrew Kapagir from BSc 21. I am doing Aerospace Engineering and I can do my first two years here and the third day in London, so that's why I chose this Innovation Centre. 